In the last 10 years, the number of companies specifying radio remote controls has increased dramatically. Over 60% of new machines sold in the UK now have them fitted. Remote controls bring many benefits, particularly in relation to the versatility and positioning options they give the operator. However, the use of a remote control also creates significant potential hazards. For this reason, all operators using them should be periodically retrained and reassessed in their use as part of, or in addition to, the basic lorry loader training they receive. The purpose of this short video is to provide a brief refresher to all lorry loader operators to help ensure that the key points covered in training are carried through into the workplace and to remind operators that they are responsible for the safety of themselves and others when in charge of a lorry loader. Here are just a few key points and top tips to consider. Always check site rules. Some sites have specific rules in place to prevent the use of radio remote controls. For example, if petrochemicals or sensitive hospital equipment are present or nearby. In such an event, it will be necessary for you to use an alternative method, such as the umbilical cord or manual levers. The umbilical cord is also intended for use in the event of a battery failure, so ensure you carry yours at all times and that it remains in good condition. Always use the belt or neck strap. The belt or neck strap is provided for several reasons, including enabling the operator to make full use of both hands in operating the machine as opposed to holding onto the control handset, ensuring the operator retains possession of the handset at all times, and preventing the handset from getting damaged or inadvertently left on site. Some companies have specific policies regarding using only the neck strap or only the waist belt. If this is the case, make sure you follow whatever policy is in place and ensure you're wearing the strap or belt at all times when the remote control is not in its storage position. In addition to the strap and umbilical cord and as part of the pre-operational checks carried out on the lorry loader, you should also check some other items on the remote control handset. Examples of these include ensuring all the control lever decals are present and legible, that the emergency stop button is intact and functioning, and that you have a spare battery on charge at all times. Be aware of the working area, including the proximity of you and others to the load and vehicle. Your own positioning as the operator is the key to this. When selecting your position, ensure you have a clear view of the vehicle, the load and its intended path at all times. If this is not possible, then a signaler should be used, or further persons may be required, for example to ensure the working area is not breached. Never stand between the load and a fixed object, such as the vehicle or a wall. In addition to the previous point concerning your own positioning, make sure at all times you are not in such a place where an incorrect or unintended movement of the lorry loader can inadvertently trap or crush you. This includes never walking under the boom, whether a load is attached or not. If working with a signaler, the golden rule is that you agree a set of signals prior to commencing lifting operations. This should include agreeing a way of ensuring that the operator confirms he has isolated the controls prior to the slinger signaler approaching the load to attach or remove it. Never walk whilst operating the remote control. A popular misconception is that radio remote controls are designed to permit the operator to both walk and operate the machine at the same time. This is wrong. Operating whilst walking is extremely dangerous, as the operator will be unable to concentrate on where he's going while simultaneously keeping his eye on the load. If you do need to reposition, then isolate the controls before moving. Once you're correctly situated and standing still, make a quick all-round check before re-engaging the controls and proceeding. There should be no exceptions to this. Always ensure the remote control is deactivated when not in use. In addition to the previous point, it is equally important to ensure the remote control handset is isolated at all times when not in use. Inadvertently catching the handset with a coat sleeve, for example, can have potentially fatal consequences. Just simply isolating the controls will totally prevent the risk of crushing or trapping. Always store the remote control in a suitable place when not in use. Remote control handsets are not only dangerous in the hands of untrained persons, 
they are also extremely expensive to replace if they get lost or damaged. For this reason, unless you're wearing the remote control handset in the prescribed manner, you should always ensure it's placed in the designated storage. It is not uncommon for the crane installer to fit a specially designed docking station and even a warning device to prevent you driving away without the remote stowed. However, and whatever system is fitted to your truck, you are responsible for ensuring your remote control handset is either worn correctly or suitably stored at all times. In addition to the previous sections and to summarize, it should be noted that companies have different rules concerning the wearing of handsets whilst accessing or egressing vehicles and whilst attaching loads. So of course, your company's safe system of work should be followed at all times. However, and in the absence of a prescribed method, a good general guide is that if you are wearing it whilst not in use, then isolate the levers at all times. If you are not wearing it, put it in the cab or its designated docking station. Remember, you, as the operator, are solely responsible for ensuring you operate the lorry loader in accordance with the training you have received, along with the loader crane manufacturer's instructions. And if you see another operator using a remote-controlled lorry loader incorrectly, please help them to protect themselves by sharing the advice contained within this short video. Remote controls can be a great tool if used properly and safely. So, do it right, for your sake.